Hey everybody, thanks for taking a moment to view this video. I promise it won't be too long, but um, I was thinking as I've done these before, um, I'm always saying, hey, I'm so excited and I can't wait and God's doing amazing things. And so I understand that, but um, and I'm about to say that, but if, if, um, if I ever come to you in a video or announcement and go, I'm not that excited and God's not really doing anything and ho-hum, then you have the permission to tell me to go find another job. Having said all that, I'm so excited about this coming Sunday and let me tell you why. Um, I think if you're following the blog, watching this video, you're, you're connected into what God's doing here, and you're kind of in the, inside the core of Buckhead Church, if you will. And um, I think every once in a while, we need to kind of call a time out and remind ourselves of why are we doing this, and, and why has God called all of us to lock arms together for such a time as this? What, what's the vision? And so this coming Sunday, um, I'm so excited for you to hear some of the things that we discovered about Buckhead Church when we did a survey recently, um, not only about Buckhead, but also North Point and Browns Bridge. And then Andy's not only going to share that, but he's going to share what I believe to be a very simple but compelling initiative for us in 2008. And, and, and this is so great. If everybody, and everybody can do this, if we'll all do this, the, the, the results will be, in my humble opinion, staggering. That, that's what awaits us, I think, in 2008. So um, I hope you plan on being there on Sunday. I just can't encourage you enough. This is going to be a really a significant Sunday in the life of our church as we share some really exciting information with you and kind of look deeper into 2008. So I really hope you'll be there. One other quick thing um, that I've got some good news and some challenging news. The good news is, is that our 11 o'clock service is completely full. Uh, that's also the challenging news, though, because we need some empty seats at 11 o'clock. So if you can do us a huge favor, maybe over the next two or three Sundays, if you can try out attending the 9 o'clock or the 6 o'clock services, that would be huge for us. Uh, we just need to create some empty seats. We do have a fair amount of empty seats at 9 and 6. Um, and so if you can help do that, try it out, see how one of those services works. Uh, I know a lot of our fusion gathering folks are attending the 6 o'clock, which is awesome now. So if you can do that, if you go to 11 and can switch to 9 or 6, that would be great. In fact, in a couple of Sundays, we're going to start for just, just few, a few Sundays for the 9 o'clock crowd. We actually have a little surprise for you, and I'm not going to tell you what the surprise is. It's exclusive for the 9 o'clock crowd, but it, it, it does involve a hot beverage. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, so if you can help maybe shift around from 11 to 9 or 6, that would be a huge thing. Good, but challenging news. So thanks for being a part of what God's uh, doing here. It's, it was an amazing 2007. You'll get to hear a little bit more about that in terms of what we've discovered about what God's doing at Buckhead Church last year, and then you'll get to see where we're heading this year. So um, have a great rest of the week, and we'll see you on Sunday.